Hey, St. Paul's, it's Charlie. I am here with another Rector's Vlog, and I'm excited today for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that we're gonna talk about a new initiative of St. Paul's called the uh, St. Paul's COVID-19 Relief Fund. And uh, to help talk about that, I've got two guests with me today, uh, Lynn Williams and Matt Steele. Matt is on the vestry and he has been most connected to this project. And Lynn is our Director of Outreach and Community Engagement. So Matt, let's start by, how about saying a little bit about what, what's, what was behind this fund? Why did we create it? Yeah, um, thanks Charlie. So um, Lynn and I uh, got to discuss um, kind of the evolving crisis um, that we're all facing and how um, it may be affecting the communities that St. Paul's is in relationship with in Woodville and the East End of Richmond, um, the folks in our Emmaus program and our friends in, in Whitakira. Uh, and thinking about all the different efforts that are coming together and various organizations that are working in these communities to provide help on a diversity of emerging needs and what St. Paul's could do to best support that given our situation, but also our resources. Um, so the idea of this fund and, uh, and process came about um, and really evolved with further discussion with the vestry and outreach committee. Um, and really proud of what we uh, were able to come up with in a, in a short amount of time to respond to this crisis. Yeah, yeah. So we really uh, feel like we need to do something and this feels like the right, right response. Um, Lynn, can you talk a little bit about um, the process? This is a, a grant process, correct? Yes, thank you. Um, we do have a grants process and we've tried to make it as simple as possible. So um, we know people are going through a lot right now and we don't want to burden you. Um, but we, this is something that organizations and nonprofits can apply for. Um, we have a cap of up to $20,000, which could be a big impact for some folks. Um, and it's a simple process. Um, they can get the forms online and you can actually fill it out right online on our website and it'll come um, straight to me. And then once we get that, our um, Outreach and Community Engagement Steering Committee will um, review those and within a week or so, we'll get right back to folks. Um, and then the only other piece of it is there is a reporting piece at the six month mark, but it's also um, a pretty straightforward and easy um, form. And so it should be pretty easy for folks. Yeah, so the, the target for this are uh, nonprofits, and uh, more community uh, community based organizations, um, because you know our our mission statement is to proclaim Christ in the heart of the city. So we we want to do that uh, with this particular initiative. And twenty thousand dollars can be quite a game changer. Wow. So the vestry has approved an initial investment of one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And that's a significant amount, but it will certainly go fast. Uh, and while we're not making this a huge fundraiser, there is an opportunity to make donations to this particular fund so that those people who feel the need to connect and reach out can do so through the St. Paul's COVID-19 Relief Fund. Um, thank you both for being here. I, I'm super excited about this and I'm just so proud to be a part of this organization of St. Paul's, of this community, and thankful to you and to all of the leaders of St. Paul's right now who are trying to, to reach out in so many ways. If you want to know anything about the COVID-19 Relief Fund, please go to stpaulsrva.org and you'll find all the details, the application, and the process. Take care, St. Paul's. God bless you all. Have a beautiful week.